Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Nicoleta, no-code web developer and UX UI designer. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do this back to top button, which has also a white version that I have used on this landing page here for my offer. You can check it out and use these links so you can find it. So let's jump into Webflow from the back end and see how can we do that. So here we have my uh, home page and we can see the button and here is already created as a component but I'm going to walk you through to the steps and see how we can create another button that has a similar purpose. So let me walk you through to the logic behind it. The idea is to have a link block at the bottom right corner that when it's clicked will lead us to the top of the page. In order for that to happen we need connection with the top. So. While we are adjusting the settings on the link block, we are going to specifically say direct me to this section. And for this purpose, we are going to use IDs. For example, here the navigation bar has an ID called navbar. And I'm using the navigation bar and the component called navigation because it's present throughout the whole website and that is the easiest way that I can replicate the same functionality over my whole website. And let's see how this will happen with the back to top button. Now let's start with the adding of back to top button. First, we need to add a link block, which is here in between the already existing back to top and the footer. For the purpose to see the actual button, we need to add an image. And for this purpose, I used icons 8 and I just browse here arrow up or arrow uh, top or anything that suggests the arrows. And I have already up uploaded the image, so I'm going to add it here, choose an image. And we're going to use the black one because here the background is white. I'm going to adjust it to the center and in order to fit the actual link block parameters, I'm going to choose cover. Okay, now that we see the arrow, it's time to link it to the top. Here are the options, URL, page, page section, email, phone, and file. We need page section and for the page section to actually access the section, we need its ID. And here we're looking for navbar. As I said earlier, the navbar has an ID called navbar and it's here in the settings. In order to keep the styling consistent, we are going to rename the class here called, let's make it back to top 2, because it's the second button. Now, usually the best practice to put the back to top button is to go on the right side of the screen and the right down co bottom corner. Let's do that by finding its position and change it from static to fixed and then from fixed to bottom right corner. In order to see it, we need to also put some padding from the side, maybe 5 or 10. Let's do 5. And then from the bottom, maybe 25 so it can appear on top of the button that we already have. Just in case, to make sure that it's on top of all layers, let's put the layer to be 15. Now, one of the issues that we have with this button is that we don't see it. Why? Because the, its size is not actually set. So let's put maybe mm -hmm, 65 by 65. Tada! We finally have it and then we can accordingly adjust the actual distance from the edges. For this purpose, I'm going to use the bigger numbers so it can be on top of my uh, buy me a coffee button and also the other back to top button. Let's preview. Okay, it is here. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, it actually works. Now let's try to do the same but have it in a different color. How can we do that? First of all, I'm going to create a component from this one and I'm going to call it back to top 2. 
with this we are actually going to be able to add this same button all over the website whenever we want so let's go to the page that is actually having this dark background and try to implement that component in order to do that we are going to go to components and going to choose back to top and we are going to put it here but as you can see the actual styling from the back to top button is still in black it has all the purpose and function from the previous button and it works well but it doesn't change its color how can we do that one way to do it as in every single thing in web design and web development there are multiple ways to do this but one of the ways is to actually unlink instance and then go to style and change the actual image for this specific button we're going to choose another image again the same one different color and then in order to test it we're going to check again go back and now when we go to the home page we have it again oh no let's see what happens here why is it white again any guesses is the same class it's using the back to top two class so in order to prevent this mistake we're going to use the other arrow the black one we're going to return its original form and then we're going to back back to that page with the dark background and not only now it's unlinked from the main component but we are going to, to add also another class add another white back to top button and now when we choose the other version of the button The other one shouldn't change. Ta-da! The home page button stays the same, but the one that goes to the festive magic is actually white. And this is how you can create back to top button with Webflow, having two versions and using components. Hope this was helpful and if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos. I also do streams sometimes and I test new web development platforms or also like to uh, design templates and just chat with my uh, subscribers. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions, also leave them in the comments below. See you in the next one. Bye!